Hey guys, so this is Dr. Jayavrat and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to make an Adams clasp. Adams clasp is one of the most used retentive component in most of the removable orthodontic appliances and it takes a little time to get used to how to make the Adams clasp. But let's discuss how it's made and before that let's see what the design of the Adams clasp looks like. So here's the design. Adam's clasp engages the mesobuckle and distobuckle undercuts of posterior teeth. The bridge is at a 45 degree angle from the vertical axis of the tooth and it has different parts such as the bridge, the arrowhead and the million dollar bend. The bridge is parallel to the occlusal plane and lies in the middle of the middle third. When we see occlusally, both the mesial and the distal wire pass over and end over the hard palate and the bridge is also parallel to the arch form. The advantage of Adam's clasp is that it has a wide variety of usage and it also has multiple modifications as well. So let's start with the making of an Adam's clasp. The things which you need are, you know, a supplier, a cast, a cutter and the wire. Now a few people also use the Adam's plier but I don't feel that there is much requirement of an Adam's plier. You can uh, use the universal plier itself and uh, you can make a decent Adam's clasp with that. So first of all, you take the wire and I've already cut it into the size which I want. You just have to straighten it a little because a uh, little bit of straightness is required, not completely. But yeah, yeah, this much is fine. Okay. Now what you have to do is that you have to first make the bridge which is supposed to be from the cusp tip to the cusp tip okay so what i do is i don't do a lot of marking on to the wire but as you can see on this plier itself can you see this groove over here this third groove uh, or sorry the second uh, groove from the top so you have to hold the wire over there okay just hold the wire over there and bend it out okay now you leave around 1 to 2 millimeters of space from that part and again just around 2 millimeters okay and just again bend it. So we have something like this with us okay two right angles we have but I actually bend it a little more so that it properly engages into the undercuts. Oh God, why is it getting out of focus again and again? It's okay. Come on. Yes, good. So what you have to do is you have to bend it a little extra. I, I always do that so that it engages into the undercuts properly. Yeah, and this one as well. Sorry. Okay, so you have something like this with us. Okay. Now what you have to do is the bridge is made. The bridge of uh, which you require is made, and this uh, size of bridge is I feel decent. Now we have to make the two arrowheads for the retention. So what you have to do is uh, you have to engage the wire with the thinnest part of the tip and you have to leave at least 3 millimeters of space okay around 3 millimeters of space on the top and you have to hold this wire and just one second yeah you have to hold this wire and just bend it out so that you get a good arrowhead Yeah, that's a decent one. I feel it's a little long, but it's okay. Now, the main thing is even if it's long, but it should be identical. It shouldn't be like uh, one is small and one is long. So you again have to hold it and you can see how this is my vision right now. So you have to hold the plier exactly parallel to where this one is. 
okay so you hold it over here now you can see the length is almost the same now i'll just hold the plier and like bend it back outwards okay and i will just bend it like this cool done now as you can see that both the arrowheads are of the same size that is the most important thing i feel now the next part is that you have to bend as you can see right now that this is in the same plane all three are in the same plane right now this arrowhead and the bridge is in the same plane right now but we want the bridge to be at an angle of around 45 to 60 degrees from the arrowhead okay so what we'll do is we'll hold the arrowhead itself and we'll bend it down okay now some people say it should be 90 but i feel 45 is good enough okay this is the first bend and this is the second bend from for the other arrowhead now you can see that both of them are at around a 45 degree angle from each other uh, from the bridge itself so now we'll see how it looks on this thing so you can clearly see that it is engaging you can see that it is engaging into the meso buckle and meso uh, meso buckle and distal buckle undercuts and the bridge height is almost at the uh, middle of the middle third now what you have to do is you have to make that million dollar bend on both sides understood now the million dollar bend is why it's called like that because if this bend goes wrong <laughs> then you might have to repeat your items okay so how you have to hold the plier is the rounded beak will be on the inside and the flat beak will be on the outside you have to hold it as close to the arrowhead tip as possible and you have to bend it diagonally okay you have to hold it tight otherwise if it slips then your adams goes waste okay this is how i'm holding it okay now i have to bend it diagonally okay so i'll bend it diagonally fine okay this is how i bent it understood and see it when you see this million dollar bend it should be on uh, below the bridge if the height of the million dollar bend is above the bridge then it won't work like it has to be around half or even smaller than the height of the bridge like i am comparing this height with this height so this has to be smaller okay now we'll do the same thing for the other side you hold it like this as close to the arrowhead as possible and again i will just bend it diagonally one second yeah now i will bend it diagonally understood yes okay this became a little more diagonal okay so just in case if it becomes very uh, like it goes out of axis from where you had wanted it to bend what you have to do is that you have to hold it over here and hold the wire and bend it in that's all and this one i feel is a little too close so this is fine and when you see this uh, adams after giving the arrowhead bends you can see that this one this wire and this wire both are in a different axis like this one is a little higher this one is a little lower i feel this is better so i'll be bending this wire down
okay so once you've done that now you can see that uh, both of them are in the same axis okay yeah now we'll check it on the cost okay so it has to be a little more narrower because this one is not engaging properly this one is engaging but it has to be a little more narrower and we have, we'll have to open the bend a little because this has this angle which should be 45 it has now become around 60 so we don't want that so we'll open up these bends also and we'll get both of them a little closer this close to get it closer you just have to press it in yes and now we'll open up the bends a little bit so to just to open up the bends you have to hold it in the way how you gave the million dollar bend and just have to open it just have to open it up a little bit yeah fine so this is the thing <clears throat> yeah now we will be checking it again okay so this looks good only this part is a little out of one second i'll show it to you the problem is when you're shooting with wires now this camera cannot keep it in focus that is the problem right now okay so as you can see this one is engaging properly but this side this has to come a little down yeah that's all otherwise it's fine so i'll just hold it back in place and i'll be bending it a little down that's all cool now we'll see this and little more adjustments okay now as you can see it is fitting perfectly on both the undercuts as well as the embrasure one second yeah cool now it'll sit fine now you can see that it is fitting on all the embrasures on both the embrasures as well as the undercut yes now what we have to do is we have to make two small marks over here one on this side now ideally you should use a marker don't use a ballpoint pen but i don't have a marker right now so i will be using a ballpoint pen yes nice good now we just have to bend it in that's all and your items will be done and your items uh, now we just have to bend it in and your items is almost done yeah and bend it in hold a millimeter before the place where you marked it with the pen and just bend it in and so it should look somewhat like this after you're done now first of all i'd like to cut the excess because this is useless okay my cutter is also bad thank you so much fine yeah now since you're done with that 
now the bends are at the right place but they have to be a little more acute so i'll be bending them a little further This is the place where we've reached. Good. So, as you can see here, that it's engaged in the mesial buckle and distal buckle undercuts. It is engaging onto the embrasures decently. And now, again, what you have to do is you have to give two point marks over here. Good. One here, one here, and you just have to bend it down. Bend it down. Then, as we've discussed, how to give a C, uh, how to give a step bend in the C class video. You have to just give a step bend over here. Okay. Now this is how the step bend looks like and similarly on the other side as well yeah done now checking it on to the cost this is what we have only we have to adapt this thing This one also in and just compress it. Okay, it was that side, I think so. Was it the cell or this cell? I think it was this cell only. Okay, this has to be bent in furthermore. So this is how you make an Adam's clasp. Just little more adjustments to be done and done. So this is how you get an Adam's clasp made. I hope you guys like the video and do subscribe for more such videos. Thank you so much guys for watching till the end. Bye bye.